You want to get Forge in Minecraft 1.21.5? Let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to get Forge in Minecraft. It goes over everything you need to know, but we're also going to do that in this video. But if you prefer a text tutorial, well, here's that for you. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click Download Forge to go to Forge's official download page. On this page, we want on the left-hand side, select 1.21.5. Right here, once we see MC 1.21.5, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. It will then take us off to Add Focus where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. Do not click a single thing on this page. After about 10 seconds in the top right, a red skip button will appear. The only thing that you ever want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. When you do, you'll probably be prompted to download a file here. As long as the file has Forge in the title, which ours does, we're going to go ahead and keep or save this file. 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title. So let's go ahead and save it. Well, that's still coming to us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected modded Minecraft server. You can also start a vanilla server, but if you're getting Forge mods, you probably want to play mods with your friends. You can add Forge to your server in seconds, get mods on your server, and one click install hundreds of mod packs. The goal at Simple Game hosting is to make Minecraft hosting as simple and easy as possible. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. Let's say you add a mod to your server. You add 20 mods to your server. Your server's not starting. You don't know why. Expert live chat support there to help you out and fix those issues. So, stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and play Minecraft with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, Forge is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is move the Forge file we downloaded to our desktop just because it's easier to do that. For me, it's my downloads folder here, move it to the desktop. Now let's go ahead and open Forge. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and the Forge installer will open. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if you click Java and it doesn't work, it doesn't open? Well, you need to get Java 21. This is our in-depth guide, of course, linked down below on how to get Java 21 for Minecraft mods like Forge. So obviously, this tutorial is exactly what you need to get Java to open up Forge and get it installed. You may also want to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first get Java, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and install Forge. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and the Minecraft Forge installer will open here. We just want to click install client and click OK. It's that easy. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed and you need to have played Minecraft 1.21.5 before. That means you need to have opened it up to the main menu and then closed out of it. That's all you've got to do, but you have to have played it before for this to work. Once Forge is successfully installed, it will tell you that it's been successfully installed by popping up and saying this, successfully installed. Install Climb Profile Forge version 1.21.5. Awesome. Click OK. It will close out of that. You can actually delete Forge from your desktop. Now at this point, if we open up the Minecraft launcher, we will have a Forge installation. We can play Minecraft using Forge, all of that stuff. But you probably want to install some Forge mods as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But if we go to installations here, we can see Forge is here. If it's not, make sure mod is checked because if it's not checked, it's not there. There's Forge. If for whatever reason you don't have Forge, or let's say you had installed Forge in the past and it's not for the 1.21.5 version here, go to click new installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because remember, that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then click the version drop down box here and select release 1.21.5 Forge here. I'm going to change resolution because we can use this later on and then you can go ahead and click install on the bottom right if you get prompted with this go ahead and click cancel because we don't necessarily want to play minecraft yet but at this point we've got our forge installation let's get some forge mods now when you're downloading forge mods there's two primary places you can do that curse forge and moderinth both are great places to get minecraft mods and they are trusted meaning they virus scan all that stuff all the mods before they go on this site so you're good to download them safely one thing worth noting though if we come down here to the left hand side only forge mods for 1.21.5 will work neo forge Forge mods will not work. That is a completely separate, completely different mod loader with a similar name, but completely different. Meaning, you want to make sure that you're filtering for Forge 1.21.5 mods. If a mod's not listed on this list, it's not going to work with Forge 1.21.5. So you want to go ahead and get Waystones here. The reason we're getting Waystones, if we go to Files here, is because... Once we filter for this, if we go to this file here, if we were to just download it and install it, it wouldn't work. That's because if we click on Waystones and then go to Related Projects, we can see this requires Balm. Many mods, including Waystones here, require another mod in order for them to actually work in game. So Waystones here is an example of a mod that if you installed it without Balm, it wouldn't work. So we want to make sure that we're getting Balm. 
bomb here as well. So let's go ahead and download Waystones by clicking this download button. After a few seconds, it'll download. With any mods you download, you're going to need to keep or save them. And then with bomb, same thing. We can go here to files. We want the 1.21.5 Forge version. This is the version we want. Click the three dots and click download, and the download will begin. Now, I want to show you Modrinth as well because you can also see those dependency mods on Modrinth. 99% of the time when you install mod and it doesn't work, it's because you're missing a dependency. On Modrinth, we can filter 1.21.5 Forge, exactly how we can filter on Curse Forge, just here on the left-hand side on Modrinth. For the Waystones mod, we can go ahead and search it up here just because I'm going to show you the same mod. That way everything's the same across the board. If we go to versions, we can find the version we want, which is going to be that Forge 1.21.5 version. And just like on CurseForge, if we click on it, right there it is. There's the dependency Bomb. In this case, it's Bomb. It might be another dependency. Terra Blender is another popular dependency mod. For example, there's tons of them. So if you see them here, you need to download that mod or the original mod. Waystones in this case wouldn't work. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and get these mods installed. Go ahead and Play Minecraft using your Forge installation, and then once you've played Minecraft, click play, click play again, we can install these mods. I would recommend moving them to your desktop before installing them just because that's easier, but they are most likely in your downloads folder and you could move them directly from there. But I've got them on the desktop just because it's going to be way easier to move them in game once they're on the desktop rather than like having to move them from the downloads folder to another folder. Move them to your desktop. They won't be there long. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can see mods here. If we click on mods, we can click open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click mods and open mods folder in the bottom left. Then drag and drop any Minecraft 1.21.5 Forge mods you want to install. As you can see, both of these are for Forge 1.21.5. That means they're going to work. But if we go back in game, they're not going to be there. So we need to go ahead and close out of this, quit Minecraft, and actually reopen up Minecraft using our Forge installation. Anytime you play Minecraft and want to play Minecraft with your mods, you must launch it with your Forge installation. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Your mods will not be active. So if we go here and play Minecraft using our Forge installation, once you're in game, the mods will be active. So here we are in game. If we go to mods, we can see we have Waystones and Bomb here. We can also jump into single player. I have this Waystones world. If you get this warning, it's because, well, I've actually used this in a different tutorial technically with fabric here, but it still actually does work. So we can have Waystones here and jump around right like so. And uh, yeah, things look great. We can use all of these different Waystones to move around the world. And um, yeah, awesome stuff. So there you have it. That's how you can add mods to Minecraft 1.21.5. Should you run into any issues with mods, we have this guy in the description down below. It's me fixing broken Minecraft mods for 18 minutes. So we're checking out. It's worth checking out even if you don't have broken mods because you might have a broken mod in the future. And if you do, well, this right here is how you can fix that. So nevertheless, I hope you now have the Minecraft Forge mods you want. We will see you in the next video and I'm out. Peace.